Hello everyone! Today I thought I'd do something a little bit different and play one of my favorite games, Othello. It's a strategy game and the goal is basically to get as many of your colored tiles as possible by the end of the game. I started playing it again in college and uh, then I took a little break over the summer and uh, just recently I thought, hey, it might be might be fun to start playing it again and maybe I'll even record myself doing it and post a video. Uh, there's actually a reason I haven't been able to post in a long time. This is primarily an AJ channel, but after the Animal Jam hack where everybody's passwords got leaked and you had to reset your password, I no longer uh, have access to my parent dashboard, which makes that extremely difficult, and I've been emailing AJ and kind of hoping that I can get things sorted out, but worst case scenario, I just start fresh with a new account, and I'm okay with that, but I, I would like to come back on my old accounts just because I have so many masterpieces, and that's that's really what I care about. Like, I, I have rares, yeah, but you can always get more rares. Masterpieces are kind of unique, and there's only a couple of each in the game, I mean, depending on, you know, how many the artist makes, but yeah, I figured it might be fun to branch out and start doing some more strategy-based games. So Othello is one of those, and I've also been playing a lot of Among Us lately, which uh, I am absolutely loving, and I would love to post some Among Us videos as well, even though the initial craze has kind of died down. I still think it would be really fun to get a group together, like a little lobby, and we could play. Oh, oh, that is <laughs> a seven win streak. This could be a challenging first game. Um, yeah, so I, I'm an advanced gold rank in Othello, and my opponent in this round also is advanced gold, so we're, okay, that, that works too, you know, they can just get disconnected. We'll try that again. Um, yeah, a, a lot of people that play this are, like, in Asian countries, and it's a much more common game there, so, uh, they're usually a lot better at it than me, which is kind of challenging, but, oh, same player again. Let's see if we can uh, we can finish the game this time. Or not, you know, that works too. Third time's the charm. Third time was not the charm. This is this is not the third time. Uh, I am actually voicing over this part because it just took me so long to get a game that even started, but now I can finally explain how it works. I am white this round, as you can kind of see and I can flip over tiles that my opponent has placed by surrounding them with two of my colored tiles. So if I wanted to switch uh, a black tile, I would have to surround it with two white ones. And you can actually switch many, I decided to just do one there, uh, but you can actually do two or three or like as many as you can surround with two colors. I mentioned earlier that this is a strategy game, and like many strategy games, there are good moves and bad moves. Uh, so there are certain places that are more desirable, in the middle, there is this kind of center 4x4 four four square, and that's a pretty safe place to go, but it's low risk, low return. So you don't get any big, you know, powerful plays from doing the center square. Edges, on the other hand, are quite valuable, and even more valuable than edges are corners. Corners are absolutely the best, because once you put a tile down in the corner, there's no way for your opponent to flip it over, and so you have that piece locked in for the rest of the game, and once you get corners, it makes it easier to take edges, and once you have edges, it's easier to take the stuff in the middle. So corners are really, really useful. Now, right now, I am playing against a slightly higher level player, so I'm employing some different strategies. And even though it looks like there's a ton more black than white, I'm actually trying to limit the number of moves they can make right now. Obviously, I have to move here, otherwise I'll run out of moves and they'll just, like, get rid of all my pieces entirely and then the game will be over. But uh, right now I have severely limited the number of moves they can do, the number of times they can, like, the number of possible things they can flip over. And uh, that's a slightly higher level strategy. Um, so there are basic strategies and that is don't give away corners, take corners, take edges, and that's, you know, kind of it, flip as many tiles as possible. But once you get into the higher levels, you can actually start to kind of bend these strategies you can even give up corners if it will let you take a whole edge if it's late in the game. Uh, so right now, I have given up like two edges. I will take this one, but um, now I have a corner guaranteed in the lower right, and I'm actually about to get a corner in the upper right as well, uh, just in a few moves. It's kind of hard to explain my thought process. I could take the corner now, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm actually saving them for later because I want to do a move over here. So now I've got those two corners locked in and I've opened up a third one as well because, well, 
it was a good game anyway. Um, I kind of got to sp- explain a bit, and um, yeah, it, it's counted as a win when the other player leaves, but yeah. Uh, I guess we'll just kind of move on, and I'll, I'll show you some more examples and maybe give some insights into ways to beat opponents. I am obviously not an expert. I am an advanced gold rank, but it goes up to diamond and then master after that. So uh, I figured I would show you on the computer level and you can actually select if you go first or second, which is really nice. So let's employ some basic strategies. Uh, obviously, it doesn't matter where you go at first. The board is symmetrical, so it doesn't make a huge difference. These are the inner four by four square places. And uh, wow, it's even telling me where I can go. I'm not going to go there. Uh, but yeah, so the corners of the inner four by four square are good, but they're not like the best. You do want to have, you know, something in the inner X, but... Uh, here I'm trying to take some edges because in beginner level play and like, you know, intermediate stuff, edges are very valuable. Now, once you get higher up, again, these things, the rules can kind of bend, but you want to try and get edges and you really want to try and get corners because corners make it really, really easy to just take over the whole board. Right now we're fairly evenly matched and obviously I'm playing against a level one computer, so this isn't going to be super hard. But, uh, you know, I, yeah, it, it's not too bad. Now, uh, right here, I have to go in what I call the no-no squares. And you have to be really careful when you go in any of these three squares surrounding a corner because it makes it super easy for your opponent to then get the corner. So you have to be careful when you move in one of them. Uh, make sure that it doesn't allow them to get a corner. Uh, let's see, I should go here. And yeah, so so that's the basic idea. Try and get edges, try and get corners, avoid no-no squares if you can, because it makes it easier for the opponents to get corners, but yeah. So so there we won a game, ignore that lose, that was a, that was a different game, that was an off day for me. But we'll, we'll play some more against uh, just random people in the world, and I think those are the kind of basic uh, strategies that you can employ, and if you want to start playing Othello, it's, it's really fun. I genuinely love this game. The learning curve is, uh, it, it takes a bit to get good at it, but I feel like I've kind of explained the basic strategies, and uh, again, doesn't matter where you go on the first move, they're all kind of the same. Uh, I'm playing against a guy named Adrian now. He's a gold rank, and if you'll notice, uh, we're, we're kind of just sticking, for the most part, in the center four squares for the first couple moves. Now, you can, of course, branch out and go, like Adrian just went in uh, the second layer in from the outside. And that's generally fine. You can go in any of those places as long as it's not the one that's a no-no square. So like diagonally in from a corner, one diagonally in. That's just not a good idea most of the time. If you have to go there, sometimes you're forced to go there. But generally, that's a good way to just give up a corner. So avoid going going there. But um, yeah, so Adrian now is probably going to go there. Yep, there he went. He wants to keep that edge locked in. Now, he actually did go in a no-no square, which means if I can get one of my pieces secured on that left edge without him being able to flip it over, so ideally I get the upper left-hand corner, uh, I am able to then get the lower left-hand corner by default because he went in a no-no square. Um, I'm going to go here and tempt him to go here. Ah, he did. He fell for it. He went in a no-no square. So now I've pretty much got that lower left corner guaranteed, even though it's not obvious yet. I, I kind of have it pretty secure. Um, again, corners are the best. Now I went here, but it's, it's a very weird strategy. Now my goal is still to get that lower left corner, and I placed one here because now I have it locked in and he can't flip that. So ideally, I get him to fill in the rest of that upper row, and then I steal the whole edge and the upper right corner. And then same thing with this slot here. He's going to have to go in one of these two places, and I'll just go in the other one. Uh, oh, shoot. <laughs> I actually have to do something first. Now I can just go in the other one. I have severely limited the number of moves he can do, and then I get most of that edge and the lower corner. And I also have a good setup to get the upper right corner as well. So I'm going to go here, and then I get the, uh, the bottom corner in the next move. He'll have to go here. This is his only move because he can't go anywhere else. That's the only place he can go. Um, yep. Now I take the corner and, uh, let's see where he can't go anywhere. It's kind of weird. Um, I should be getting a pass turn because he shouldn't have any moves. Yep. Okay. 
Uh, now I get to go there, and once again, it's a pass turn. He has no moves. There's no black tiles that he can flip right now, so I'm going to go here next, and I'm going to take this edge. Pretty good place. Uh, yep. And then after that, uh, let's see. He has no moves now, so I'm going to go uh, here. Here next. That's the best place. Either there. I mean, it doesn't make a huge difference, but... Um, why is it not giving me a pass here? That's that's strange. The game seems to be glitched. Um, I should be getting a pass right here. Uh, I, I don't know why it's still saying it's Adrian's turn, because he has no moves, and it should have just default given it to me. Um, yeah, oh, well, that, that would be why. <laughs> we count it as a win. That's, that's pretty good. Five wins. Not terrible. Uh, let's go on to another game. Which way is it spinning? Is it going counterclockwise or clockwise? Or is it just bouncing back and forth? We'll never know. So I probably won't be doing a lot of Othello videos in the future. I might do a couple just, you know, to do some story times or something. But I know that the gameplay isn't super interesting. Um, I do think Among Us would be really fun to do, though. And uh, I would want to do it in, like, lobbies with voice calls. So it's not just, like, typing in the chat box. And uh, if, if you had any other ideas of video games I should play, I would be open to suggestions just for the time being before I get my AJ account back. And, and obviously this, uh, this may be like a shift in my channel. I might kind of branch out into more things than just AJ. I might start playing like Minecraft or, uh, or Among Us or anything else. So yeah, um, if you have any suggestions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. I am looking for new games to play just to kind of broaden my horizons and obviously I want these games to be like entertaining gameplay I want it to make a good video which is why I don't think Othello will be a regular thing um at least not in the long run I might do again some short story times perhaps but I just don't think the gameplay is super interesting on its own so I'm kind of using this as a, a background to discuss these things with you because I think it would be fun to play um new games uh, specifically Among Us and Minecraft are kind of where my interests lie right now, but I'm not leaving Animal Jam behind. I definitely want to keep playing it. I I missed all of Jamala days. It was so sad. All the masterpiece tokens, guys. Imagine how many masterpieces I could have made for free. Um, yeah. So I, I'm a little I'm a little salty about that, but there's always next Jamala days, and I'm I'm glad that they're continuing to do the masterpiece tokens. I think that's a good way to get non-members involved in the art community. Now, unfortunately, I remember around this time my opponent, yep, my opponent gets disconnected from the game, so that's the end of that one, but it's counted as a win. I'll take it. We take it. Uh, will I ever get a full game? We'll find out. We'll see. After many attempts, finally, there was a complete game. I'm I'm really feeling it this time, guys. I'm feeling it. This is the one. We have new tile skins and, and a cute profile pic of a cat. This is this will be the game that we finished all the way to the end. Um so I, I did go in the second edge from or second, you know, thing from the edge. And uh that's okay because I did go in the no no square and uh alright. They got an edge piece. That's all right. I'm. Oh, that was that was a dangerous move. I don't know if I would have done that. Uh, I am trying to get that upper left hand corner at the moment, and I'm just setting things up so that it makes. Well, okay, never mind. I'll get it later. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Confidence. Right now, I'm just limiting the number of moves that my opponent can do. Now they have to go in a no-no square, and uh, I've kind of forced them into an awkward position. Now I did go in a no-no square there. But it's for good reason. Uh, they can't move in the place right next to it because otherwise, you know, I would be able to go down below. And now I get that upper left corner and I have severely limited their moves. I get to go here, take the whole edge. Now I get to take this corner. I get to go down here. And uh, I've basically guaranteed myself at least one more corner, likely two. But uh, I think I'll take this one, actually. Yep, now I get that corner and uh, I go here. Um, yeah, so I, I got all four corners. This just shows you, I, I think I'm actually, yeah, yeah. So this just shows you how valuable corners are. Like you can just 
get the whole board if you get the corners. It's crazy. And I think this is actually a really good game to end it off on because it's the first one I got to play through to the end and, you know, actually win legitimately as opposed to just having the opponent disconnect. Um, yeah, I, I know this is a bit different and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I, I know that I enjoy playing Othello, but I'm sure it's not quite as interesting content as you might see on AJ. It is a strategy-based game as opposed to a more social game like Animal Jam. But again, I'm working on getting my account back. It's, it's in the works, I promise. And uh, I don't know if any of you would be interested in like hearing about stuff that I did at college, but if you wanted, I could do, you know, another video that's more of a story time. This one wasn't actually a story time at all, but like I could do another video like this where it's just me kind of talking about an interesting thing that happened. And uh, I, I have a kind of crazy life. Yeah, I, I could talk about that. So if if that's something you'd be interested in, I could do that. Uh, but yeah, I think this is a good place to kind of wrap up the video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you want to try and play Othello, it's a great game. I really think you should. But yeah, I will talk to you guys all later. Thank you. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and happy new year.